So how many of you guys would have invested just $1 in Bitcoin back in January 2009 when it first came out? You would be a millionaire right now. Well, I'm seeing some pretty promising setups right now that I think is really good for position traders, meaning for those who trade for months and months. But I got your back if you're a scalper or even an intraday trader. And do you guys remember this Bitcoin analysis that I did just four weeks ago? Right here. So I'm going to give you these numbers here. This zone here is around 25,102, give or take. This is just an area that I believe price will come down to and retest, okay? This is as far as I believe price will come down and retest. So price can definitely come back down here. And we can see as price come down here, it is approaching our support channel line, also our resistance horizontal line, in which price will be more likely forced to continue to the upside, right? And then we'll just adjust our uptrend like that. It did exactly what I said, and it came down to that level within just a few pips, and then it shot right up. You know why? Because I understand the bigger picture. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that the bigger picture tells you the true story. I'm Brian Horton with BK Trading Academy, professional trader, investor, and owner, and I got your back with Bitcoin. Subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already. Let's get into it! Yeah, I know I got problems And I don't know where to go I don't want to put the blame on it so put it All right, guys, so that video was just four weeks ago. So I'm on the weekly chart. So I'm going to count four weeks ago. So we have one, two, three, and four. I believe it was towards the end of the last week. So I mentioned the level was at 25,102. And if we look at 25,102 or look for it, it's at this area right here, right? So if we look, it wicked right at that rejection. And if I draw a straight line, we can see right where it wicked before right where it wicked before, okay? So this was a very significant level, came down and then shot to the upside just as predicted. So what's gonna happen now, guys? Remember, our bias for long-term trading is an uptrend. So I believe if you're a position trader or an investor and you like to hold on to things, uptrend is the way. So I would be long, but it depends on how long you want to hold it. So as I scroll out, I'm on the weekly time frame. I have my trend line, which is right here. Here is my all-time low, which is back in this area right here or this zone, right? So it even goes a little bit lower if I continue to zoom out. But this here is our new low, and the new low came in November 2022. So we're clearly in an uptrend on the weekly time frame. And we're also in an uptrend on the daily time frame which is right here. And we're going to operate on the daily time frame from this point on. So we have a strong impulsive move to the upside right off of this trend line, rejected, shot straight up. And whenever you have a forceful push, either in one direction or the other, you have to have a pullback, right? And guess what? It stopped right here at this previous resistance. So I believe we're going to see some sort of resistance here. Now, because we're in an uptrend, I do believe we're going to surpass this here. I don't know when it could happen tomorrow, this weekend, next week, but it is going to surpass this. I have no clue when, but I believe we're going to see some sort of consolidation right now before we see that. If I scroll out here, exactly where we see our levels at. So I like to draw a rectangle around this area right here, and I believe price can kind of hover and claim this zone right here and start consolidating. This is when buyers and sellers are trying to figure out which way they want to push the direction of the, of the trade, right? So we typically have buyers and sellers saying, hey, previously at this price, we ended up in a good deal. Sellers took over, it dropped it down, and now buyers and sellers are renegotiating at this price. Now, those who have been trading for a while know that if you have such an impulsive move like this here, where we have consecutive long white candles in my case here, it is due for a drawdown. So you can do one or two things. You can grab your Fibonacci tool. You can do that to try to figure out when is price going to come down. So I'm going to do something like that. Just grab my Fib tool, clean this chart up just a bit here. And as I grab my Fib tool, on the daily time frame, if I want to grab it from this very, very low, this impulse move to where this wick is, typically the 3.8 and the 50 zone is a nice sweet spot, even the 6.18 zone here in which it can pull back. Now, if we look at the 50 zone, we can see that price was at a nice resistance area here, right here in which it can become support. So I believe price may kind of stagger a bit, go sideways. It can't even maybe pull back to the 50 zone and then begin to push higher. If it doesn't do that, it may com just completely break out of this zone right here, creating new highs, 
and then come back to this top zone here where it was previous resistance right here to the left, now future support. So I believe either of those scenarios will play out. I'm going to go over it one more time just in case you missed it here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. Delete my fib tool. So you want to grab your fib tool from where you have your first push to the upside. So I'm going to grab it right here. And you want to take it all the way to where you see price is currently at. The reason why I'm taking it here is because it's wicking and it's also a very significant resistance area. Now, the very key spot for a reversal is at either anywhere between the 3.8 zone, the 50 zone or the 6.18 zone. OK, anything deeper could possibly be a trend reversal. So you just want to be careful with that. OK, so for long term position traders, I would definitely buy. But if you're looking to get a discount, I wouldn't buy right now. I will wait for a pullback or a retest. OK, and what I mean by that is price is currently here. So either it will continue to push higher. And if so, you still don't want to buy. You want to wait for a pullback, retest to structure right here now future support. Okay. That's one scenario. Second scenario is it will bounce off of this resistance zone because buyers have exhausted themselves and come back either to the 3.8 zone, the 50 zone, or the 6.18 zone. At the 6.18 zone, if it pulls back at that area, almost all the time you will see price begin to shoot to the upside because now sellers are starting to exhaust itself. Now you wouldn't know that unless you knew that you were in an uptrend. So you want to kind of go out to the higher time frame to see what trend you're in, how low price has gone, which we did in the last video, and then it will make a determination of how we're going to trade in the future. So guys, that's pretty much it. I want to give you a very sweet and short video explaining why behind the what. And if you struggle with things like this, like using your FIB tool, the different ways you can use your FIB tool, your MA tool, or your Bollinger Band tool, or just price action or technical analysis overall, we have your back. And that's why we have an academy, very, very affordable, all in the description below. And we love to teach you. And not only that, it is a lifetime membership. So you don't have to worry about getting the work done right away. You can just go at your own pace whenever you can. And we're always there. So you can message us 24 seven in which we can help you with your trading goods. You trade live with us. We provide trade ideas and all that good stuff. But that's enough of that. That's not this type of video. So I just wanted to give you that, guys. If you trade Bitcoin, then that's what my outlook is here. So let me know what you think about this. If you trade Bitcoin, I would love to hold your hand and we can kind of talk about things like this. Everything is in the description below. Join our Telegram if you haven't already. And guys, guess what? We're proud of this. We are over 8,000 reputation points on TradingView. If you're not following us on TradingView, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So everything is in the description below. Follow us on TradingView because you can see our trade ideas and setups that we pretty much publish every day or every other day. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't stress that enough. We really appreciate you guys for watching our videos and we hope that you are learning and growing. That is our goal for you guys. Have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video.